What is column store in HANA? When I first heard about column store, I thought it was something which I can see in data dictionary in SE11 or SE16 or SE16N. So when I first got hold of a HANA system, I quickly went to SE16 to see how the column store looked like. To my surprise, there was no difference at all. So what was I missing? So later I realized column store in HANA is just a concept for us us as in SAP functional or technical consultant or end users. It might be different for the database uh, programmer. The magic happens at the database level. We cannot see the real column store in action physically. That means there is no difference to the data visualized in the data dictionary in SE11, SE16 or SE16N. So if the table is marked as column store, then each column of the table is saved as tiny table which holds unique entries and addresses of the position of data for that field in the actual table. For example, if a table which is marked as column store has 10 fields, then at the database level, 10 tiny tables would be created for each field which holds unique entries and the addresses. Since this tiny table has unique entry, they act like index table. Hence, the secondary index can be avoided for column store tables. What happens behind the scene at database level for the column store table? Let's take this dataset from the PO header table EKQO for our explanation. Each field of this table has one corresponding tiny table. So, mandate that is the client field have one table. So, how many entries in that table? So, there will be just one row. So since the client has 110, so the uh, tiny table which is present at the database level, it will have just one entry, but it will have addresses. So, 1, 2, 3. So, if there are 10 fields or 10 rows in the uh, main table, then in the tiny table, it will have one entry with 10 addresses. Now, let's look how many uh, PO numbers will be there. So, PO number is EBLN. Since PO is primary key, it cannot be compressed further even in the column table. So for 10 PO entry in the actual table, column tiny table will also have 10 entries, entries with the corresponding addresses. So the addresses are depicted in the bracket in this um, slide. Now let's see how many PO type would be there in the column table at the database level, BSART. Look, there is only two. So why? Because in the actual table, there is only NB and FO. So there will be only two rows in the actual column, tab column table in the database level, level, but they will have addresses. You see the address NB is in position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, whereas FO is in just 9 and 10. So from 10 entries, we have compressed it to just two entries in the database level and then uh, you can read faster because there is a data compression from 10 to 2 that is almost like 80% of data compressed. Remember, all this happens in database level. There is nothing for us to see. We just need to believe it. Now, finally, let's take one more field for example. So, this time we'll take the vendor number. How many entries do you think the tiny table column store will hold for our data set in the current screenshot? Check. There are only three unique Lifner. If you see here, there is 301, then we have 300 and 302. So, how many entries do you think? You're, you guessed it right. There will be just three entries in the uh, database level. So why? Because there were three unique entries in the actual table. So look here, 100301 has position 1 because it is just in the first row. While 100302 is from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 and 10 because in the 8th position is 100300. So you understand that from from 10 entries, it has been compressed to 3 entries. Hope this super short video helped you understand the concept of column store in HANA and also what happens behind the scene at the database level. Hope you will remember this for your lifetime. Please like, comment and subscribe to SAPR.com.